And we are certainly determined to do everything we can to help Ukrainians fleeing the theatre of conflict. We now come to the Leader of the Opposition, the Right Honourable Keir Starmer. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm very glad the Ambassador is here so he can hear me repeat what I've said to him privately on a number of occasions, and that is that this House and this country stand united in our support for the Ukrainian people in the face of Russian aggression. And we're all appalled by the shocking footage that's emerged over the last few days. We must stand up to Putin and those who prop up his regime. Mr Speaker, Roman Abramovich is the owner of Chelsea Football Club and various other high-value assets in the United Kingdom. He's a person of interest to the Home Office because of his links to the Russian state and his public association with corrupt activity and practices. Last week, the Prime Minister said that Abramovich is facing sanctions. He later corrected the record to say that he isn't. Well, why on earth isn't he? Uh, Mr Speaker, it's not appropriate for me to comment on individual uh, cases at this stage. Uh, but, uh, and it is, but what I can say, uh, and, and, and I, I, I stand, Mr Speaker, by what I've uh, said in the House and, uh, and what we've put on the record. Uh, but uh, be in no doubt that the actions that we've already taken, that this House has already taken, are having an effect in, uh, in Moscow. And by exposing the ownership of properties of, of companies in the way that we are, uh, by sanctioning uh, 275 uh, individuals already, a further 100. Uh, Mr Speaker, I support the measures that have been taken so far. Uh, the ownership of Shuvalov's flats is registered under Sova Real Estate which is actually owned by Shuvalov and his wife. We only know which oligarch lurks beneath that shell company because of the information obtained and disclosed by Alexei Nalvani. Nalvani, of course, was poisoned by the Russian state and he now sits in a Putin jail. Transparency is essential to rooting out corruption. It should be built into our law, but it's not. And I'm ashamed that we only know about Shuvalov's Westminster flats because a dissident risked his lives. Is the Prime Minister? Uh, Mr Speaker, I, I repeat uh, that the, the UK, uh, of course, uh, is doing everything that we can to expose <coughs> ill-gotten uh, Russian loot. And this has been something that uh, we've been working on for a, a long time, that we actually were the first to impose sanctions on those who, uh, poisoned, uh, who are guilty for the poisoning of Alexei Navalny that he mentions. But what we are bringing forward now is, is the exposure of the... Thank you, Mr Speaker. The Prime Minister refers to the long overdue economic crime bill, which, to be clear, we support and will vote through on Monday with speed. The key plank to that bill is a register of who truly owns property in the United Kingdom. But it doesn't come into force for existing owners like Shuvalov until 18 months after the bill passes. At best, that's autumn 2023. Far too long for the Ukrainian people. Why are we giving Putin's cronies 18 months to quietly launder their money out of the UK property market and into another safe haven. Mr Speaker, the impact of what the UK is doing uh, and, we, and the impact of the... And I think the whole House should be proud of what we have done because we have, we have led the way on this. What I'm offering is support to speed this up. Yes. On Monday, the Prime Minister knows he has the House with him when this economic crime bill goes through. We could do this on Monday at speed, and I think the whole House would welcome that. So it's an invitation to work together, Prime Minister. Uh, the Business Department published a white paper this week. It rightly sets out that the UK's company's register is being exploited to further the interests of the UK's enemies to help them move stolen money into the West. But the same department, on the very same day, published an economic crime bill which did nothing to address this, leaving Companies House untouched and still exploited. So will the Prime Minister work with us to amend the bill on Monday to include the most basic yes, reforms yes. like identity checks for directors. Yes. Uh, 
as I've said, Mr. Speaker, we are bringing forward at uh, uh, an accelerated pace measures to whip aside the veil of anonymity of those who own assets in this country and, uh, and those who own property in this country. And furthermore, Mr. Speaker, we are going to be public.